All right. Uh, welcome. My name is uh, Jose Anunciato, and uh, I'll be your instructor for CS5200 for the next several months. Uh, this is CS5200. Right? We're all in the right place. Um, yeah, so uh, it's um, welcome to database management systems. Uh, we'll uh, be talking about, uh, for, for the next several weeks, about how to store, how to uh, retrieve, uh, how to structure, how to organize, uh, and how to maintain uh, databases. And uh, we'll first get started uh, pretty much where we, we are in, in, the, in the technology in the relational databases first. Uh, then uh, uh, we'll move on to non-SQL non uh, databases such as MongoDB uh, and consider other different ways of how to uh, represent, structure, uh, manage uh, databases, all right? how to convert between different representations and what are the, uh, the challenges? If, you know, even though there are many different ways of representing data, uh, you know, a lot of the challenges are, are very common across all the different options that we have. Uh, and we'll see what are some of the fundamental issues uh, that uh, are applicable across any representation, any data representation, uh, such as normalization uh, and uh, uh, how, to, how to retrieve things uh, quickly, uh, depending on how you store it. Um, so depending on which section you're in, uh, we have different meeting times. Uh, we're going to be meeting on Tuesdays, today, 6 to 9. Um, this is a syllabus. Uh, this is me, Jose Anunciato. Uh, this is my personal phone number. Uh, please don't share it. Uh, but uh, you know, feel free to text me, uh, call me if you have a, a question, uh, especially late at night when I'm, I'm uh, commuting back uh, you know, if I'm dozing off, you know, if you call me, you can wake me up and uh, avoid a calamity. Uh, my uh, office hours will be uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 4.30 to 5.30, but I'm also usually here on Tuesdays uh, around about the same time. Uh, so it's not official office hours, but you're welcome to come. You know, also on Tuesdays today, for instance, also between 4.30 and right before class. Okay? Um, uh, the TAs will also be uh, editing this, uh, this document and adding their own office hours and contact information. I see there, uh, yeah, four of them already did. I think there's one, extra, one additional TA that will be uh, joining us. Um, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the, the, the goal of the, of, the, uh, of the course is to uh, just, just get to know several uh, alternatives that we have for data storage. Uh, we'll look at the, the legacy, the, the most common way that today we're still storing data has been around for the last, uh, for several decades already. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll first look at relational databases uh, since they have served us very well and I'm sure they'll serve us well for quite a while. Uh, but then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, consider other ways of, of storing data. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll look at uh, NoSQL, MongoDB, uh, XML, other data representation. Um, and then we'll look at uh, how is it that we interact and uh, uh, and, and programmatically interact with these uh, data storages. Uh, in particular, we'll be using Java. Uh, I think most people feel comfortable with Java, so that's, a, that's an, easy, uh, an easy win. We'll look at first uh, how to interact um, at a very low level with the database using uh, JDBC, for instance. Uh, but then we'll consider other ways that are much more advanced and much more um, easier to program. We'll look at uh, ORMs, object relational mappings, uh, in particular, we'll look at uh, Java Persistence API, uh, and uh, and then we'll look at you know always getting a little farther away from the actual nitty gritty of dealing with the database. Uh, you know, pr uh, first manually, you know, at the console interacting with the database, then programmatically uh, using Java. Uh, then we'll talk about uh, how to how to inter in um, integrate that those data stores uh, with other systems uh, using. For instance, by using web services as uh, creating endpoints that would allow uh, disparate systems to share data amongst themselves. Um, we'll, do, we'll look also talk about uh, transforming data. Uh, if you have disparate systems using the same data store, oftentimes the schemas are different, and we need mechanisms that allow us to uh, to create the transformations between the dif these different uh, data representations. Um, so yeah, so quite a bit. Um, there'll be a uh, Typically, there'll be six assignments, uh, which will be 30% uh, of the grade. Uh, oh, I don't know, there's someone here. Oh, you got someone? You can grab this chair if you want. 
someone's sitting there. Uh, uh, there'll, there'll also be uh, six, uh, around six quizzes as well. Uh, but uh, a lot, notice that a lot of the portion of this course is uh, based on the project. There'll be a, a team uh, project, so three of you will, uh, will be teams of three. Uh, working on the, in, the, in, the in, a, in a project that you of your choice, right? There'll be a, uh, there'll be some baseline requirements that you all have to meet, uh, but uh, beyond beyond those requirements, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, uh, you're free to choose the framework, uh, whether you want to use our non-relational databases or uh, relational databases. Uh, if you want to use some, something other than Java, I'm open to that. That's fine. Um, uh, most of the, the most of you will fall within the requirements that uh, we stipulate, uh, but if you feel that the requirements do not, you know, if you want to play around with something other, uh, something else that uh, falls outside of the requirements, uh, I'm open to negotiation, uh, where we can trade off uh, certain requirements for other, uh, other more interesting things that you might want to play with. Uh, but I think, you know, 80% of you will hopefully fall within that those uh, those requirements. Uh, there's always a few that uh, want to experiment a little further, that's fine. Um, uh, there will be a, a midterm, halfway, and then a, and a final. Uh, makeup policy, typically there won't be a makeup policy. Uh, if you're, if you're going to be late uh, on an assignment, it will just be 1% for every hour that you're late. Okay. Um, uh, so if you need just a couple more hours, then uh, the, the the grade will be uh, you know whatever whatever number of points that you you lose for that many hours. Uh, if uh, if you need to uh, be absent or you you can't be here for a particular quiz or a particular, uh, I need to know beforehand, okay, that uh, you won't be here. Uh, perhaps we can accommodate something. We, maybe the TAs will be available and you can take a quiz for, uh, with them. Uh, but uh, definitely, I like that to be the exception. Um, uh, extraneous circumstances, if, uh, um, certainly we will consider that um, uh, case by case. Uh, the assignments, uh, we will be using back, uh, uh, Blackboard, uh, but mostly just for, for pr uh, providing a grade, a final grade to you for a particular assignment that you've submitted. Uh, but most of, most of the submission will be done through GitHub. Right? So uh, um, hopefully everybody's comfortable with GitHub. Anybody not comfortable with GitHub? Right. Okay. If you're if you're not, uh, the, uh, the the TAs have shared a uh, tutorial video on GitHub. Um, uh, we will be providing a GitHub repository that we'll be creating for you. Right. That will have a certain structure. Uh, so so uh, so you clone down that particular repository. Right. And there'll be you know directories for each one of the assignments. Uh, there'll be instructions for each one of the assignments on what what uh, what to submit, uh, and you're you're expected to be working on that particular directory for that particular assignment. Right? Uh, we'll be setting up uh, projects in each one of the directories. For instance, in one of them there'll be a, an SQL project, another will be a Java project, another one will be a Node.js project. Right? And you're and you're expected to work and complete the assignments within those directories. Okay? Uh, there, there'll be some. Uh, startup files in there that might you might get you started, right? Already pre-configured, um, so hopefully we'll we'll minimize the, uh, the the effort that you need to do to set up your own projects. Okay, uh, there'll also be some test files in there that uh, that will uh, enable the TS to quickly grade, right, and test whether your code is uh, working correctly. Uh, so please follow the instructions. There'll be some naming conventions that you need to follow, some structures that you need to follow. Uh, otherwise, if you don't follow those instructions. Then the tests that they uh, they've created for you will fail, right? And so, it, you know, to, to the extent that we can simplify the the grading for the TAs, uh, that'd be great appreciated. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, schedules. Let's uh, take a look at the um, uh, the schedule. Uh, 